Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Nikita Devri. I am a digital marketing executive at Crave Infotech. Before we getting started, I am going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenter, we have Q and A section and chat feature enabled. We will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. We invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen. We will have Q and A session at the end of the webinar to answer your questions. Now, I would like to welcome Murli and Milind. We are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar boost warehouse efficiency by thirty percent with barcode enablement, IoT, and SAP's intelligent enterprise. Murli is the sales and operations director for Crave Operations in India. During his twenty plus years of industry serving, he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, and IT industries. At present. He is working closely with various intelligent warehouse management and automation projects in India. We also have Milin with us. He is director enterprise application at Crave Infotech with 17 plus years of industry experience in core SAP ECC and S4 HANA. P2P, LEWMS, EWM delivery, project management and solution art architect. Now, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Murli to start with the presentation. Over to you, Murli. Yeah, thank you very much, Nikita. Uh, thanks for short intro. Uh, and with this, I, I take this opportunity to welcome you all for today's webinar, Crave Infotech webinar on uh, effective warehouse management, how you can boost your efficiency by using barcode IOD and uh, IoT and uh, SAP intelligent uh, uh, systems. So, um, uh, before uh, jumping to uh, the agenda of the webinar, uh, I just wanted quickly to take you through with few minutes uh, about uh, brief about the Crave Infotech, who we are, what we do. Uh, so, it will help us when we'll talk later with each other. So, uh, hope my screen is visible to all. So this is, um, we, we have tried to show the journey of the organization. We are 13 years old organization, uh, operational from 2007, uh, working with SAP very closely from 2008, having all partnerships with SAP, build, sales, service. Uh, and along with SAP, we are also partnered with Zebra, with uh, mobile computing devices manufacturer globally, here technology, who is a geo enablement solution provider globally, and um, um, some um, other services. So this, this with these three um, uh, partnerships, we come up with a unique combination of hardware. So our own solution and then SAP backend. Okay, for the organizations where normally when you uh, work on any solution, there is a uh, normally the challenges are either integrating with your backend system, legacy or ERP or integrating with the hardware part. So we uh, uh, come up with the unique uh, solutioning part. They're taking care of all aspects of integration of the solution. So um during this journey we um in two, 2015 16 18 we won certain awards we are sapas award winner we are sap pinnacle finalist sap war um with the 20 plus applications on sap app store and so on so when we, uh, my focus of today's discussion will be mainly sap because we are working closely with sap as a sap partner but our solutions also get integrated with non sap uh, back in erps as well so um so this is about a brief history about the organization and the journey of the organization before uh, talking about the business verticals and services, I just wanted to take you through this important slide. What we have, and this is a proven study at Marketplace by uh, one of the prominent players like McKinsey, wherein uh, they say that most of the organizations, rather 70% of the companies fail 
I mean, when we talk about it's a end user or customers, because they try to build the solution instead of buying the solution. The reason obvious because there is a very low ROI, high deployment time. You are not that is not your area. Your core business is something else. Um, difficult to upgrade again. Maintaining uh, the required manpower is also and with uh, upgradation with the technology roadmap is also difficult. So these are the certain challenges. Whereas when you buy the solution, or definitely uh, the partner uh, like Crave Infotech, uh, they take care that uh, the uh, uh, we end up in lower total cost of product ownership. Okay, so that TOC uh, TCO is uh, lower. Then reduce deployment time up to 80%. And that these are certain use cases which in which we have proven this with the data. We come up with the, all our expertise with the 4.0, 5.0 future proof solutions. We also take care of all compliances because um, whether it is a FDA compliant or um, for example, if you are in pharma, you are in food processing. So we take care of all needful compliances when we automate your processes and further integrate with your backend ERPs. Uh, this is about the organization. We have 150 plus in size, 50 plus in customer size, large enterprises we are working on. Um, we have our own solutions, 50 plus solutions available on SAP App Center. Uh, um, and uh, we have certain partnerships, certifications, awards, which I just briefed in earlier slide, we have mentioned over here. So um, we have four to five business verticals which we call it as our focus for business verticals. Of course, the um, um, intelligent warehouse management, which we will talk today, is one of them, uh, in which we take care of complete end-to-end -end warehouse management cycle and integration at IM level, WM level, EWM level. And Milin will talk more about that. So along with warehouse management, we have complete uh, other portfolio in so digital supply chain or intelligent supply chain with truck latency, yard management, um, uh, barcode and RFID enablement and so on. Um, with digital supply chain, we have also complete focus in intelligent asset management. Here we are taking care of complete plant maintenance solutions, including SAP Asset Manager, AIN, predictive maintenance. So these are certain niche areas which we work with our customers. So Crave as an organization, we work in products as well as in services. The products I just briefed like uh, intelligent warehouse management, uh, IAM, uh, digital supply chain, and uh, some other products like intelligent e-logbook and so on. Along with that, we are in services, mainly in SAP space, uh, wherein we take care of uh, implementations, customizations, um, support of uh, enterprise uh, ECC or S4 HANA for ECC or S4 HANA. We come up with the special niche areas like PM implementation, WM implementation, EWM implementation to top up with your existing SAP implementations. Uh, other than that, we are working very closely with SAP for the BTP business technology platforms. Fury enablement is another major important aspect we cover with SAP and we also provide the services in terms of resourcing and um, contractual people. So this is the complete chain diagram of the organization solutions and um, offerings, product offerings. And you will find we are all covering almost every functionality of the organization here. Uh, including supply chain, connected assets and IoT, approvals, dashboards, um, customer side automation, vendor side automation, uh, and human capital management as well. So there are different modules, different solutions. Um, all these solutions are developed in Fury UI, uh, UIFI and get integrated with your uh, backend ERP, SAP. So, 
coming to today's agenda we will be covering this um, um, we, of course we will be talking about the uh, challenges of organization when it comes to warehouse management what are the current trends in the uh, market um, in a supply chain area and how we can gain efficiencies cut the cost and uh, scale up the operations using crave warehouse management solution so it it will be followed by the demonstration of the applications we have so when we talk about warehouse management these are the certain typical challenges what we observe in the marketplace that warehouses are now uh, these are certain changes and so there are challenges warehouses are now one of the most critical part of the business function earlier it was actually not given that importance rather were neglected as back office of the supply chain engine but now today it is a front engine of uh, the entire business process because um, especially during covid pandemic the um, the uh, efficiency of complete supply chain was more uh, uh, the got the highest importance at marketplace and so warehouse came in the limelight so warehouse operatives are being recognized as key workers now warehouses are busier than even every every country strive to keep the food products pharmaceuticals and essential households goods widely available so these are one of the uh, and so there are challenges to make them available at your network organizations or uh, business partners so shoppers rush to stock up um, during this coronavirus uh, pandemic panic buying and warehouses using technology to improve efficiency and productivity to meet customer expectations so these are we we try to cover certain uh, challenges at marketplace redundant procedure with uh, time consuming labor task we all know about that because most of the time um, um, all the, though there are advancements in warehouse management uh, still lot of redundancy is there process in processes because a lot of tasks are still manual task and which further result in inaccuracy and inefficiency in handling the inventory and this is one of the major challenge of any uh, many rather organizations because stock levels are not matching um, difficult to manage stocking and picking orders with diverse product portfolio you have number of skus so um, manually entering uh, everything uh, is becoming very very difficult so uh, use of scanner uh, or image capture on your smartphone or tablet in order to get the most up to date reading of your inventory is the essential requirement of today's organizations in warehouse management and high labor cost we have already covered i will quickly jump to a uh, few points which i wanted to address so these are some of the trends in warehousing the customer expectations outside the warehouse demand are more so pressure is increased inside the warehouse and we all observe that being users in warehouse management order volume is all time high and we have observed this in last one year omni channel transactions increasing skus and customer demands call for efficiency across warehouse workflow so and we will see that how we can manage this using crave uh, warehousing solution so tracking visibility accurate inventory and profitable omni channel this is all we are working on uh, trying to manage all these aspects uh, of warehouse management so again here we have tried to show that uh, what all comprehensive data capture dna intelligent tools um, uh, through which what we would like to achieve fit to application lowest tco and best in class this is what we are expecting when it comes to um, the warehouse solution so through crave warehouse uh, solution c warehouse solution 
we try to combine these areas attended unattended and data analytics so hardware and software tracking not only what where when and what conditions it all in real time of course and providing insight not just the data because i know how we do that so i have take we have taken one uh, maturity model from zebra uh, this talks about um, three areas sense analyze and act and uh, different we have to identify where we are in this quadrant when it uh, comes to our warehouse management system in the organization so the, the, which all tools we have to we will be using for sensing what we do in analyze like worker driven transactional data sensor driven real time data and how we act on the what, what we can take care of how we can act on that so with this i uh, wanted to brief you about the crave warehouse solution these are certain key features of warehouse uh, solution what we have we have almost 56 plus warehouse processes which are available out of box in our solution it is completely flexible configurable uh, uh, and easy to integrate with your backend ERP. So quick UI transition through dynamic UI configurator. And you will see this in the demo of the application. And transaction, of course, it all depends on what standardization we are adopting um, when we configure the C maintenance system with the SAP. So otherwise, it is just in weeks job if we avoid maximum customization and go for the standard processes. So what we achieve is uh, we are trying to give you here a 100% paperless process through our solution, less stress and type involved in managing warehouse activities, um, TCO reduction up to 80%. And this is uh, with our use cases, we have proven that. 35% lower warehouse operating cost and 15% less labor cost per unit handled. So these are certain key uh, deliverables when it comes to uh, C warehouse implementation at organizations. So, uh, and we will see this in uh, uh, today's webinar again, when uh, Milin will brief you about the complete solution. So this is the complete warehouse solution or warehouse um, um, different modules or aspects of Crave uh, solution. So I'll request Milin to brief on the solution uh, uh, processes and uh, take you all through the demonstration of the application. Uh, Milin, yeah, over to you. you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Murli. Uh, and thank you, audience, uh, for joining and welcome to all this webinar. So I'm going to take you through the warehouse journey. Uh, so basically, I will share my screen. Uh, give me a second. Yes. So this is basically typically our uh, warehouse solution is. So left hand side, you will find this uh, mobile application and right hand side is end to end warehouse ERP solution. So we have uh, various mobile device. We are partnership with the Zebra as well as the SAP. So these are the uh, mobile devices we have. And uh, typically uh, when the customer comes to us, we send a set of questionaries and we ask them, basically what is your pain area what are your pain area and then we divide that whether your warehouse is a production warehouse or whether you have distribution warehouse you have transaction uh, cross docking warehouse uh, and which what kind of operations uh, is happening in your warehouse whether inbound outbound physical inventory and based on your warehouse type based on your business processes we suggest uh, uh, apps this is what the mobile apps and this is the end-to-end -end solution. For example, if you have SAP ECC, then our apps is applicable. If you have the WM in the ECC, no problems, our app supports. If you have S4 HANA implementation, no matter whether it is on-premises or cloud, our app supports that. So in short, WM, inventory management, or EWM, in all cases, our app supports. So I'm going to show you Domo in a short while. So before that, just would like to give you a brief about uh, our solution journey. What is the, what are our solutions? 
uh, site survey and network Wi-Fi assessment. This is very important. Uh, most of the one of our customer, uh, when we implemented our mobile apps, uh, they complain after some days that uh, you know we have the uh, Wi-Fi problems. And when we visit, we found that there are uh, other Wi-Fi uh, enables and there are basically the interference of the Wi-Fi. So we found out the solution and we resolved that. So site survey is one of our key areas. Uh, if we want to you know, mount RFID, then we visit your warehouse. Voice activated order picking. Nowadays, as you know, uh, the warehouse, uh, and when we call it as intelligent warehouse, it means warehouse operator doesn't have to use his intelligence. So uh, with the Bluetooth device, uh, the our apps will guide you, uh, you know, where, which, what is the base path, and then warehouse operator will go over here, they go there, and then pick the materials. Hand free picking or, uh, you know, there are, uh, you know, glass, uh, uh, using a glass also they can scan. So these are the new methodology, which is upcoming uh, warehouse automation or digitalization, what we can see. If uh, you are using a, a forklift, then we can mount RFID on the forklift and then we can scan it. So barcode, uh, QR code or RFID will scan and then you will get an exact result. So these are the uh, some of uh, our competencies. And if you are talking about the devices, these are the kind of mobile devices. Now, as I said, we are in partnership with the Zebra and SAP. All the mobile devices are validated. Uh, their battery drainage or uh, you know temperature condition. If the temperature condition is too low, zero to minus five degrees Celsius, then most of the time the Zebra device screen gets fogs. So that uh, possibility is not there. The possibility is zero because all are validated. And this will increase the 80% efficiencies. And uh, of course, 100% paperless. You don't have to uh, you know, go to the cabin. And then, you know, the typical days, older days has gone now. The warehouse uh, operator or warehouse supervisor is no longer sit into the cabin and then perform operations. Uh, perform the transactions in the uh, terminal like ME21 and MIGOS and all. And then, then he will call the warehouse operator, come on, this is the uh, label, go there. So these are the manual operations that is gone now. All the, now the era is the digitalization and that's what we are uh, propagating for that uh, we, you have to use uh, the Crave application that, that will make the warehouse person life uh, easy and of course uh, there are more, more than 30 percent efficiency in the operations uh, these are the, some of the use cases uh, whereby we had one customers and they were using engineering warehouse where all the stuffs uh, uh, their 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 products were uh, you know there was completely hodgepodge they were scattered and then by using our warehouse operations and warehouse automations, we are able to help them and increase their efficiency by at least 40%. So this is the use cases. Uh, and uh, this, I think, uh, uh, Murli has talked about that. So I will directly jump to demo. See, this is a kind of our app store, what we call it as uh, FLP, Fury Launchpad. So we are having a completely uh, uh, launch pad or Fury factory, whereby we have more than 50 uh, applications. Um, so in every area, for example, no matter if it is a supply chain management or if it is an enterprise access management, CA approval, for every, uh, most of all and sundry kind of uh, apps we have. And these apps is basically the digitalization and automation. For example, uh, when we are talking about the warehouse management, we have the inventory management app. So this is the apps which we developed. And we just click on these slides and then we get a, a warehouse screen. See, inbound, outbound, and internal transfer physical inventory. So if a warehouse operators need to go inside the inbound operation, then he has to just press this and he can go inside and perform the good receive, good reversals return. Similarly, if you want to perform outbound operation, he can just click on outbound and PGA. So no need to remember all uh, old SAP transaction, we had 01N or Migo or Miro. No, no, no need of that. 
everything is app based just uh, where and the beauty of this is we can customize this as per the your requirement for example this is the screen which i am showing in a laptop now if warehouse workers wants a special size of their mobile device if has a mobile device you see this is a mobile device okay we can customize that for example if he is using uh, iphone then it will take the shape of iphone if uh, operator is using ipad air or ipad mini or uh, samsung galaxy then it will take a shape of galaxy and we can he can perform everything so what we do is we download the apps on your mobile phone tablets ipad whatever and then he can perform the operation at the same place where exactly uh, the transformations or the goods issues are being happening and we can also customize this see, uh, for one two by nine one five so we have the 60 percent 70 percent so we, we can increase the size and we can customize this so that is the beauty of our app so for the, the sake of simplicity i'm using uh this uh laptop okay and uh, the demo which i'm going to show is a warehouse management demo of course the warehouse management is a tool which we develop to automate your warehouse but uh, you can use, uh, uh, you know, for if you have the IM management base or EWM, then our apps is also applicable for that. So after uh, clicking on the tiles, we get this kind of screen, okay, username and password, and then you will get all the options. We have the print option, reprint option. So printing of label, for example, just go to print and you will get the list of the material which are uh, good recipient, GR number if you want to print the label he doesn't have to go to a cabin just on the app he can click here and then he will get a label see if you want to see the label how it looks like so this is the qr code and this qr code contains everything all information or if you think that some information is irrelevant or if you want to add more information yes we can customize that and now warehouse has different type of palettes, small palettes, large palettes. So we can customize that also. See here is, we can switch to small palettes and here is the label in the small form. See, okay. Uh, if you want to print it, just click print button. That's it. It's QR label printed. And once the label gets printed, it will be removed from here. For example, now this contains one atoms. And if you want to print this, I will just print it. QR label gets printed on the uh, printer and then here we will not get any list. If you want to reprint it, suppose uh, uh, because of certain issues, a label is not able to print clearly or properly, then we have the reprint option here. The same here we can uh, print it. See, by just simply clicking reprint, the label will get printed. Okay, so these are the uh, printing operations. Now, your materials or your product where exactly your product is so you don't have to go to terminal and see where exactly your product is we have the apps beans and qr scan so just click here and then you have to scan these materials and you will find uh, your uh, location of the product now since i am not using a uh, gun uh, i'll be using uh, app this is this information okay let's say you have this material okay so just scan this material see we'll get all information what is the material number what is the pure number what is the jar number so all the histories are associated with that so the transaction code which you use in SAP terminal is happening over in the apps, even the bin inquiry. So what is the bin? So you don't have to, uh, you have to just scan the bin. So suppose I scan this bin, okay. And I will just scan it. Let's say I have scanned it. And if I press enter, I will get all the information. What is the material number? What is the storage unit? Available quantity and status, whether it is quality stock or uh, block stock or available stock. So this is the feature of uh, bid. If you want to put away the product, then we have apps. 
so we have the apps for put away supply return so i will quickly show you how the how to put away the materials okay so see this is the gr okay and if you want to put away the material uh, you have to just click uh, you have to just scan the material okay so i am just scanning this material see i have scanned this material let's say i have scan it do you want to scan the individual label if you have multiple palette and if you want to keep it in the same bin then you have this option otherwise i can go ahead and then scan the bin so i will just scan the bin and that's it your put away will happens the i have scan the bin okay so scan the material scan the bin and then put away so how much uh, so just simple just two clicks you will be able to put away the material and system will guide now here the bin also system will guide we can provide you the bin location uh, the material is available in which bin okay so you have to just select the bins and scan it so if i click on put away all the transfer orders or material document everything will happen in the background so within a simple uh, few clicks you will get the operations you will, you will get the desired result Uh, if you want to issue the goods to the uh, let's say core center or production or uh, if you want to return the goods to the supplier then we have the app similar to this uh, let's say if you want to issue the goods to the uh, core center you will get all the list of reservation you don't have to create the reservation for reservation also we have the app so if you have the 5 to 6 reservation all the reservation will show here and if i click here i will get the c201 moment of it means good issue to cost center so uh, if you want to issue the goods to the cost center then system will tell you see here literally the user does not have to use his brain and we will we'll call it as the intelligent warehouse the system will guide here the system is saying that material and qr scan so i have to scan the material so if i scan this material okay and the system will tell you how much quantity is required 75 so if i click here 75 click okay and then from which bin so we have the list of bin here so any bin you can select so system will guide you from which bin you have to take so there is no need of uh, taking the print out so it's a uh, completely paperless and that's it so if you want to add some test then you can add the test and issue so if you observe here then you have to just scan the material and bin and enter the quantity you don't have to go to the migo screen a complicated migo screen whereby there are multiple tab you have to go to one tabs and there are at least five to six tabs are there and if a user uh, you know miss uh, one particular tab then he will not be able to post the migo transaction but here the transaction is so simple and user friendly if he clicks only the issue button that's it the material document transfer order if your warehouse is not inventory managed uh, then you will get the warehouse order transfer order creation confirmation everything at the background if you do not have the warehouse then of course you will get the material document so these are the uh, some of the transactions that we can automate uh, using a warehouse uh, management app and uh, over and above this uh, we also have the physical inventory okay so physical inventory procedure is also simple so just click the uh, materials and uh go on scanning the bin after scanning the bin let's say i am performing the physical inventory okay because now that the physical inventory is a major pain point because of uh, you have to take the uh, material uh, print the physical inventory list so here you have to enter the bin okay just enter the bins and then you will get the material mm -hmm. okay and you can enter the quantity what is the actual quantity if the quantity is zero just click zero and press confirm so with the few few clicks without uh, going into system with the simple mobile apps we will be able to perform the physical inventory see if you click the confirm we will get the physical inventory 
okay uh, there are another material see i click on zero and then confirm see inventory document is created and confirm everything is in the background so warehouse has uh, uh, so we have this completely digitalization and automation so uh, another thing which i would like to show is uh, rfid because rfid is being a latest technology uh, and uh, it's a really digitalization field uh, how uh, how we can bring automation so this is a typical slide which i would like to show you see once the truck comes here see truck is coming and using this rfid signal it is scanning this barcode okay this rfid is scanning this capturing all the information and once the rfid capture the information everything we store in the sap in the back end and this is a typically gate see once it gets uh, the vehicle comes in uh, it will uh, will will get all the information so this is uh, rfid and based on rfid then we have the uh, information in sap and we can perform the series of operations okay we'll i will again show you uh, different apps okay. see we have the truck latency okay uh, majority of uh, you know organization they have a picking and then packing Uh, everything so everything is happening in sap and they say that we don't want sap we we, we don't want your uh, apps why do we need uh, your app because we are performing everything in sap and we are okay we have done lot of customization it's okay but what about your truck management of truck see uh, we, if you consider the example of outbound delivery when you confirm the outbound delivery and when the pgi the outbound delivery you can track the truck and hence we have the truck latency app see we have the vehicle in okay vehicle parking loading start loading gate so these are the typical cases for example if your vehicle is in uh, as i showed you in the rfid uh, the rfid is reader scan the trucks and capture the vehicle number here then we assign the token number as well as the uh, delivery order number so everything can be assigned at the gate and then then truck uh, comes in uh, to the warehouse at the, the gate of the, the warehouse and then we perform the remaining operation so our aim is outbound delivery is created it has been pgied and we have to track the truck we have to load the materials into the truck so what we have to do is suppose the vehicle is in we have to click here and then with this outbound delivery numbers we will get all the sku how many skus are there so this is one sku this is another sku so multiple sku based on the outbound delivery number so user has is doesn't have to use his intelligence the system will guide now see here i am not doing anything everything is guided by the system the system is telling that keep next okay keep next the system will tell me that these are the uh, lane which you have to assign your truck because your truck is standing some uh, parking slot okay so you have to assign it so anything you can choose is you will get multiple based on your requirement so if i choose this and i have to assign it okay once i assign is the labor that also we can customize so if there are c1 seven to eight laborers who are doing the operation then we can customize or if you want you can add it for example this labor is doing this operation basically his job is to load the materials into the truck and uh, monitor the truck so gang assignment let's see seven physical checklist okay now he can perform uh, the physical checklist whether the truck is for free from foreign particles so he can check it and everything is in mobile apps he doesn't have to go to the system and at the same time where the operation is being performed okay so loading start and reject in all the operation you will find that we are not scanning anything or we are not uh, entering anything Uh, we have to just enter the quantity that's it see you now this outbound delivery has these two materials batch number is also there so i can just verify it okay because i have started the loading and then stacking pattern sometimes the trucks require the stacking in a different fashion so that also we can add length width height and just save it okay loading in okay and then he can sign see here there is a signature bar then next see uh, I, i don't have to remember everything the system is guiding me 
the system is guiding and taking me this screen so qc person so qc person will come he is enter his name then he will scan okay do you want to submit yes see, and then vehicle everything can be see loading in earlier it was uh, uh, vehicle in now the loading in and then we can release it here uh, release okay the token is released and then uh, we also have uh, vehicles we can have this uh, uh, swipe button okay and then all the vehicles or the material which are loaded we can just click it and it will be removed see it is removed so this is uh, one of the truck latency app which we developed uh, using intelligent warehouse uh so that's all from my side so the poll is open for uh, question and answer uh, before moving to q and a i'll be launching the poll questions i request everyone uh, to fill uh, the poll the poll questions are open uh, please uh, go through the questions and uh, fill the poll questions Okay, in the meantime, we'll move to the Q&A uh, section. We have uh, one question from Jitesh Kumar. Uh, weighing and dispensing system integrated uh, with SAP integration possible with uh, your system? Yes, yes. We have the weighing balance integration also, and we have also uh, provided this solution to one of our customers. So weighing and dispensing uh, is also one of our uh, solution. So what we do is uh, normally when the user weigh, uh, uh, then our apps will perform that. Our apps will comes into that, and we have the integration with the weighing balance. Okay. So if you need any information, then you can contact to our marketing team, and then we will demo the apps. We have one more question from Jitesh Kumar. Scanning device uh, available for solvent handling, flame proof. Yes. As I said earlier, uh, we have partnership with the Zebra as well as SAP. So a lot of pharmaceutical customers and a lot of oil and gas. So uh, their demand is your device should be flame proof. So we can provide a special device for that. So, uh, as I said, uh, we have the partnership with the Zebra. Uh, we can provide the flame-proof uh, device. Not only that, if uh, the temperature is very less, very low, uh, 0 to minus 5, then we have the special device for that. Or Zebra will suggest to cover the device using plastic or some shield. Okay. Uh, we have one question from uh, Sunil. For pipes and pipe fittings, uh, had you completed project in any of the similar industry, UPVC or CPVC? No, I, as far as I remember, we don't have the customers of UPVC or CPV. However, if you have any requirement of uh, uh, apps, then we can definitely uh, go ahead and uh, demo our apps. We can, we'll, uh, we'd like to talk to you regarding your requirement. Because our apps, mobile apps, is applicable to all kinds of industries, consumer product goods or oil and gas or pharmaceuticals, manufacturing. So I think pipes, uh, fitting, et cetera, this type of industry is also applicable. Uh, OK, so I think that was the last question. Uh, I'm also ending the poll questions. Uh, so if you have any further queries, uh, you can contact us on contact at craveinfotech.com if any of your questions are not answered in the live session. Uh, I'm putting the email in the chat section. So thank you everyone for joining the webinar. Have a good day.
uh, we are ending the webinar thanks thank everyone. you thank yeah. you thanks thanks nikita